Let's build an Abus Dimple today. This is an EC750 Extra Class. Uh, for me, this is extremely difficult lock to pick. Um, managed to pick it yesterday for the second time in six months. Uh, and I'm going to try, hopefully today, and get it on camera. A little click off number one, going straight in. Little nudge on number three. We had three clicks on number six, which gave us a false set. Now pin number two is binding. Pretty difficult to get on top of, but it gave us a nice false set. Pin number three is now binding. Again, it's pretty difficult to get on top of. I think they fluffed it. Not quite sure how. There we go, that's better. I've got my first set back now. Now pin number three is binding again. And I think I set it as well. Still in a little bit of a first set. And number two now gave us a little tiny nudge. Pin number one wants to do the same, I think. A little tiny nudge from pin number one. Going back through the lock, it feels like number four is binding. And it gave us a little tiny nudge. At the moment, we're not in a false set. There we go. We click on number three, a little tiny movement on the corner. Number three is binding again. And what this time wants to let everything else back up. Thank you, number three. Back to number six, two clicks on number six, got a little bit of movement on the core. Number three. Counter rotation and set as a spore. Number two wants to do exactly the same thing. It did set, but it sounded like something else came back up. That's number three, typical. Which gave us a little tiny nudge. We lost our first set, and which we got back. Well, now everything feels pretty low down in the lock, or already set. We lost our false set. That's going to be number three that gives it back, please. <laughs> it seems like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, number one. Not quite sure about number one. Number two. Number three. Kind of feels like everything's binding at the same time, so a little, a little bit of tension. I guess I'm going too hard here. I'm a bit nervous. Got some movement on number three. Gave us a click, but it also sounded like it let other things up. Number two gave us a little click. Number five. Number three wants to give us something. I'm not quite sure what. Counter rotation. Deep false set. No, number two, of course. Still in a false set. Now, number three, of course. Three picks like a challenge lock. Yeah? Three gave us a nudge. And a deep false set. Now number four. Sounds like it's set, but sounds like it let everything else back up, right? Notably number three. Which has subsequently disappeared and we've lost our false set. And we're getting clicks off two and three. And we feel a bit lost. Click on number four.
Last number one. Bit of a false setback playing with number five and number one. I think we're back to the beginning actually. False set on three. On two. On three. On four, but we let something else back up, which was number three. It seems to have set. What I'm going to go in is go in with a deeper curved flag and try and scrub the bottom of the lock and see if something's holding us up because it's too deep for the pick that I was using. And that's exactly what happened, it was number three. All right, so that's our ABUS EC750 extra class, finally open on camera. Um, pick is stuck, of course, which is pretty much par for the course. Um, let's see what we can do, right, I'm fully zoomed out. Um, let's get it out. Now, I do have the key for this lock, but it's in the bedroom, and my wife is asleep. So we're going to have to try and do it without, okay? This is probably going to be a disaster, no, me. <clears throat> we'll see what we can do. If I close this lock back up, I'm going to be most angry with myself. Do this the, the old fashioned way. Okay, clips off. Always use a shim. Always use a shim. <laughs> All right, so uh, where were we? We click it that way. So I should my pins will be here. Let's go. All right, we're open. That's okay. I think. Right. Okay. We've got key control pins up here, uh, but that should be okay. I think. That's one of the key control pins that's fallen out. So um, let's check out, let's dump out the pins. Pull out one of the springs, there's no need to pull out any more. <laughs> well, we've got two, we'll take them. Right, so let's get down there and see what this was actually made of. Those of you familiar with the pinning on the new. Uh, C73 will recognize immediately uh, the same kind of content here. Um, let's check this out for example. 
Keep in number one. You know. I always do that. Keep in number one. We're going to focus on that. Lovely overset trap. Same pretty much for number two, for number three, for number four, for number five, and for number six. So what we're looking at is a, is a serration or an, an overset trap on all of the key pins. Tricky. Check out this. This is the Abus multi serrated pin number six. It's exactly the same thing they put in the new C73 and it's in this Abus AC750 extra class. Now these are the same spools as well. Check out the bottom of this spool. Um, it's got like a, a T-pin end to it. Yeah. It's at the bottom, thankfully, so it didn't really come into play. However, this one, it's at the top. So this one did come into play, which is why we had to nudge that pin time and time again. This is pin number four, right? And that's the one that's pretty low down in the keyway. That's the one that needed that curved pick to get on top of it. And with this super long spool with the the T-pin the bit at the end, uh, that was really tricky to set. Same thing again here. Same thing again here, but luckily for us, it was upside down again, so it didn't really come into play. And this one was also upside down. So we can thank Abus for setting this thing up with the, the difficult T-pin spools upside down in most of the cases, in, in, in three out of five. Um, otherwise, it would have been a lot harder to open. I'm just going to come back to this pin here because I, I absolutely love this pin. Uh, as you can see, there's a double serration on either end and so you really do get a nice lot of clicks on that. It'll be interesting to see how deeply it actually sits in, in the, uh, the plug uh, to see exactly how much we needed. Of course we've got a standard plug, it's just a standard commercial lock and of course we've got a standard body. So that was one of my nemesis, the EC750 Extra Class by Abus. Um, it's taken me about six months to actually get this thing open on video. I'm very happy. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon.